Hello, and welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up SAML single sign on SSO for your ASP.NET Core applications using Ping Fettered as IDP. To start with, we will first install the ASP.NET SAML NuGet package in your Visual Studio project. Open your ASP.NET Core application in Visual Studio. Right click in the Solution Explorer and select Manage NuGet Packages. Search for the Mini Orange SAML SSO extension and install this extension. Next, integrate the Mini Orange ASP.NET SAML SSO middleware by adding the required namespaces, services, and middleware to your project. You can find these details from the setup guide link added in the video description. After adding the required services and middleware, build and run your application. Now in your browser navigate to the URL displayed on the screen. If the registration page appears, you've successfully added the Mini Orange ASP.NET Core SAML plugin. You would be required to register in the plugin as an administrator to manage the SAML configuration for your application. After successful registration you will receive a license key on your registration email to activate your account. If you didn't receive the license key and you are using trial plugin, then you can get this license key by using various other ways such as by downloading license key. Enter this license key and click on the activate license button. For the SAML protocol, it is necessary to first establish trust between the .NET application and Ping Federate by exchanging the service provider and identity provider metadata. Let's start with sharing the service provider metadata. To do this you would be required to go to the service provider settings tab. Here you will find SAML service provider metadata details that need to be provided to your IDP. Ping Federate in this case. You can send the service provider metadata to the identity provider using different ways such as using metadata URL or metadata file. In this case copy the entity ID and ACS URL of your application which will be needed in the subsequent steps. Next step is to configure Ping Federate as IDP. For this, log in to Ping Federate admin dashboard. Click on create new environment. Select build your own solution option. Scroll down and select Ping 1 SSO. Click on select trial button then click on next. Enter your environment name and click on finish. Select your created environment and click on Manage Environment. Click on Add a SAML app. Then on Add Application button. Enter your application name. Scroll down and select SAML application then click on Configure button. Here select option to manually enter service provider metadata and paste the ACS URL and SP Entity ID which you get from service provider. Then click on Save. We have successfully configured the application. Now enable the toggle button to switch on the application. Go to the Configuration tab and download Identity Provider Metadata. Now let's assign a user to your application for this go to the Directory tab. Under Users click on Add Users icon. Enter Name, Username and Password and click on Save. Here you can see that user is assigned successfully. The next step would be to configure the Ping Federate metadata in the ASP.NET application. For this go to the Mini Orange ASP.NET plugin dashboard. Click on the Identity Provider Settings tab, Click on Add New IDP and select Ping Federate as Identity Provider. Click on Upload IDP Metadata button. Here you will find two ways to upload metadata. You can upload metadata by entering metadata URL or using uploading metadata file. In our scenario let's upload metadata file which we get from Ping Federate. Click on Upload button. After successful upload you can see that the IDP metadata has been populated here successfully. To verify SSO configurations hover on Select Actions drop-down against your IDP application, and click on Test Configurations. The Ping Federate login window will pop up. Enter your Ping Federate credentials and click on Sign On. After successful authentication a test successful window will appear showing user attributes such as name ID and others. The next step here would be to map only the required attributes from the SAML response to your .NET application. Now from the Select Actions drop-down click on Edit Configurations. Navigate to the Attribute slash Role Mapping tab. Here you can map .NET username, email and other attributes to what we have received from Ping Federate. Please make sure that are mapping the exact same attributes otherwise SSO would not work as per your expectation. We are mapping username and email attribute with the name ID attribute received from Ping Federate. Click on Save Attribute Mapping button to retrieve the end user SSO details in your application in form of user claims. Copy the integration code as provided in the integration tab in your application. We have added this integration code steps in our setup guide you can refer this from setup guide also. In our case we are pasting this integration code in the layout.cshtml file. 
Now let's jump on how to initiate the SSO login. From the identity provider setting click on the select action drop down to get the SSO link of your IDP. Copy this SSO link. You can use this link in your application and make a button or page, in our case we have created a button out of this link. Let's now check on how the actual end user experience would look like. Click on login with ping federate button. Log in with your ping federate credentials. After successful user authentication you can see that user will be sent to ASP.NET application, and will be logged in via single sign on SSO. By following these steps, you will successfully set up SAML single sign on SSO, for your ASP.NET Core application using ping federate as identity provider. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions please feel free to contact us at ASP.NET support at securify.com.